So first of all, we're going to do the PVE disc bis list. And we're going to do the pre bis and the raid bis. Then we're going to do PVP bis. Pre bis and raid bis. And I'm also going to link a sort of an easy pre bis to get. That, so, so it doesn't contain anything that requires a lot of... I would say anything beyond revered from Warsong, it won't include. It won't include anything from uh, a Rathi rep or rank 5. And it won't include uh, anything from BFD. So it'll be something you can just easily get on a fresh character. Um, with the exception of maybe the Warsong pieces. But I, I would assume most people are Warsong revered on anything that isn't fresh. So for PvE, the pre is going to be Papal Fez. You also have the option of, uh, I guess, the Holy Shroud is, is going to have more healing, but less overall stats. Uh, but I kind of like the overall stats. We don't really know how long these fights are going to be or how much mana we're going to have. So Papal Fez is pretty nice here. Triune Amulet, just from SM. Nice and easy to get. Then we've got the Berry Line Pads. Battle Healer's Cloak. This one's from Warsong Revered. Actually, I believe it's from, from uh, Warsong Honored, actually. Yeah, Warsong Honored. Then the Dreamweave Vest, Tailoring Crafted. Then we've got the Warsong Exalted Braces. Obviously, this is the Bis, or, or the, the, the harder to get pre Bis, I would say. Then we've got the Epic Staff from BFD. We have Dreamweave Gloves, Earthen Silk Belt, Stoneweaver Leggings. Then we have the Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots, Advisor's Ring, Signet of the Twilight Lord, Acolyte's Void Pearl. If you did choose the Healing. Pearl from BFD. If not, you can use the spell damage one here. And then the Shifting Scale Talisman as well. And then Necrotic Wand, which is going to be from SM Graveyard. And then the Easy just has a few adjustments here, obviously with the rings. And the Helm, obviously, is non the non-BOE version. The White Mane Chapeau. And the braces are adjusted. Oh, and so is, the, so is the weapon. So as you can see, there's no BFD pieces here, and there's no high rep pieces. Uh, I would say other than the cloak, but there are other options for the cloak if you can't get that if it's a fresh character. And then for the bis, this is probably the most interesting one. We have the tailoring helm. Going to require some mats from the raid, I assume. Uh, we've got pendant homecoming, synthetic mantle, and we don't know what all the bosses uh, that drop these are yet, but we have got some data mine loot, so we're going through it. The cloak invention. Hyper conductive uh, Shimitra. And this is going to be uh, a token that you can get from the raid where you can choose a piece. So choose wisely. I believe you're going to be able to have more than one. You're going to be able to get more than one token. But obviously the, the first piece you pick is going to depend on whether you care more about PvE or solo PvP, I would say. We'll get more into that later. The braces is going to be Tinker's Wrist Wraps. And then the Healing Epic Staff. Dreamweave Gloves remain. Then we've got Mech Mender's Sash. Hyperconductive Pantaloons. Hyperconductive Sandals for that nice three set. Juicy bit of regen. This is the thing. We don't know if you want to want to just have more throughput or whether the regen is actually going to be needed. Obviously, we're going to have Fiend. Uh, we're going to have potentially Dispersion. So Mana Regen is going to be quite nice. We've got Blood, Blood Covenant Seal from the STV event. Hypercharged Gear. Acolyte's Void Pile remains, and then the Miniaturized Combustion Chamber as it has damage and healing on it. And then finally, the Meccano Strider Gear Shifter. So that's going to be the PvE disc. As always, guys, remember that these lists are subject to change. Obviously, I can't change the recording on YouTube, but I will try my best to keep the actual BIS list links as updated as possible. If you want the most updated version, then I always update them first in the sub channel on my Discord. So if you're in there, you get priority. Let's start with Disc Prebis. This is for PvP. So we've got the Augural Shroud. Shroud, sorry. We've got the Triune Amulet. Very, very strong piece, actually. Beryline Pads, again. Then we've got the Battle Healer's Cloak. Quite a nice piece. Easy to pick up, obviously, if you're... Uh, Already, well, all the way up to Exalted with the War Song. Then we've got Robes of the Lich. Really, really high stamina on this piece. So this is a nice pickup. We've got the Dryad's Wrist Bindings from War Song. 
Uh, the Rod of the Ancient Sleepwalker again. Then we've got the Black Fingerless Gloves. I said these at the time. These are absolutely insane, these gloves. And yeah, they're still going to be Priebus for us. We've got Shadowy Belt. Stoneweaver Leggings. Then the Extra Planar Spider Silk Boots, which... Honestly, I think if they don't provide an upgraded version of these, these are still going to be best at 60 with the minus 30% damage taken, which is absolutely insane. And the 1% hit on them, obviously, is an added bonus that just scales up all the way up, right? So even though the other stats will be low, the the, uh, the perks of that are just so high. We've got Advisor's Ring and Lone Tree Circle. And then we've got the Acolyte's Void Pearl uh, or this damage version if you have that one. Greater Insignia of the Horde. This will be from rank 5. If you do not have rank 5, then just obviously your normal Insignia until you do. And then Necrotic Wand. And then we've got the easy version of the Pre-Abyss, which just removes a few pieces from the BFD raid. I'm not going to fully go through this. Uh, there will be a link in the description as well. Then we have the PvP Disc uh, Abyss for group play. So this will be things like Warsong and larger scale PvP combat. And the reason for that is it has a little bit less stamina and damage and more healing and regen. So we've got the Tailoring Helm again and Pendant of Homecoming again, just because of the high amount of stats on this bad boy. Then we've got Synthetic Mantle, Cape of Homeostasis. We've got the Hyperconductive Shimmer Shirt. And as you'll see, we're using the healer version of the set here. Dryad's Wrist Bindings again, and then Glimmering Gizmo Blade with the 960 Repair Manual. And the reason for that, rather than the Epic Staff, is this is going to allow us to swap on Skull of Impending Doom. We've got the Fighter Ace Gloves, really nice armor on this piece, with good stamina, intellect, and damage and healing as well. And then we've got the Mech Mender Sash. This is another piece with no stam on, but really good stats, so it's worth the risk. Uh, make sure you're spacing well in these group fights, and you won't need to be as tanky. And then we've got the hyperconductive pantaloons for the, the, the three set with the boots. Now, you can actually swap these out if you feel like you're not tanky enough. If you want to go with the uh, the crafted tailoring boots, then you can swap those on. And then I would switch these legs out for the stoneweaver, stoneweaver leggings again. And that's going to make you a little bit more tanky. For the rings, we've got the hypercharged gear of innovation. Really nice stats on this one. Blood Covenant seal, of course. And then we've got the uh, Niodine Pill Bottle. And this is providing a freedom. It's a very long cooldown. And there's a few trinkets in there with a long cooldown. So I imagine you're going to be swapping trinkets around quite a lot. I've just put this one on here as an example. But this is, uh, this is going to be very nice for giving people freedom. Obviously, your Greater Insignia is going to be removing everything rather than just specific things. And then the Meccano Strider Gear Shifter. So that's for group play. For duels... And while PvP, some things are going to be changing up a little bit. So we still have the Tailoring Helm. But now we have the Damage Neck. Synthetic Mantle remains. But now we're running the Blood Rock Cloak. And you'll notice we're running the two or two parts of the Damage set now. And we're going to continue to run the same Braces and Weapon. However, we will be switching the Offhand to the Umbral Crystal. And obviously Skull as needed. And this is going to provide a, a nice bit of damage, actually, the BOE here. Fighter Ace Gloves remain. And then the belt is going to be the Arathi Basin Belt, which has a decent amount of armor on, stamina, int, and then damage. The damage legs come in here. And then we're not going to run the three set. While it is nice, and you can run it when the boots are on cooldown, I would say. So make sure you're starting out with the extra planar boots and then switching them off as they're on cooldown to the set for that potential uh damage and healing boost rings is just going to be advisor's ring and then the sanguine shadow band so there's as you'll notice we'll, we've got a little bit more shadow uh shadow damage in this set but also stamina while taking that regen hit we're going to be running the combustion chamber trinket but again you most likely will be able to rotate around through different trinkets the on use of this one is not quite as useful but the intellect and damage and healing is nice and then the standard trinket and wand remain. So that's that's disc. That's all of the bis lists I've got for disc. As I said, it will take a little bit of time for you to go through them. If you have any specific slots that you disagree with, or if anything changes, do let me know in the comments. I will adjust things in the description 
obviously the video cannot be changed in retrospect.